Okay, we have Eric Coverley, defending state champ, Humberville Eastwood. There's John Bitten, Buckeye Lope. <laughs> Coverly with a quick fall in his semifinal match. Fittinger with a hard fought win over Manier of Graham. Coverly uh, committed to Central Michigan University early. Excellent tilt series. Actually had a fall off of the tilt with the uh, Chester and West Yaga, 160 pounder. Coverly's brother, a four-time state placer. Coverly himself, a four-time state placer, looking for a second title. Bittinger, a surprise finalist. From Beaver local. Probably always setting the tilt up. Looking to be a 165 pounder in college for the Chippewas of Central Michigan. His brother was a 149 pounder in college for the Chippewas. Coached by his father, Ralph Coverley. Coverley's also a Cadet National Freestyle Finalist. Scores now Coverly 4 1, 30 seconds remain, first period. Coverly in all red, hit and zero in the white single, red writing. Coverly looking for the pick, comes back up, unable to get it. Bittinger looking for a pick. 12 seconds remains. Drags him out of bounds. 4-1. Two seconds remains. Coverly in control. <laughs> Coverly. Let's start up the second period in the bottom position. Pittenger will cover. Coverly comes up right away to his feet. Bittinger doesn't look like he may be able to hold him, maybe able to hold him, run into the mat. Out of bounds, back to the center. Bittinger chooses neutral. 150 left in the second period. Of course, 5 1 now, Coverly. Binger comes in on a shot. Coverly sprawls back. Front headlock position. Step up, bounce by Coverly. No score here. Coverly 5 1. Coverly really looking to spin score, Bittinger hanging tough. Ooh, Coverly with the go behind. It's a score 7-1, one minute remains. Second period. Coverly cuts him loose. Injury timeout. Eric Coverly. Done something to his knee. He is in command here, seven to two. Oh. 
Division three is one nothing going into the third period. Yana Delta winning. Division one is five to nothing. Klein of Westerville North in command. Carberley looking for the goal behind, can't seem to get it. Whoa! Carberley with a nice pancake on Bittinger. Bittinger came at him hard. Carberley reacts. Carberley might be able to get a fall. Got the arms bundled there. Unbelievable act, reaction by Eric Carberley. Throws Bittinger, uses his own momentum against him, throws him to his back. Makes the score. 12 to 2, Eric Coverley, 15 seconds remains. Brings him out of bounds, 11 seconds remains. Whoa, whoa, we got a little, little bump on the edge there by Bittinger. Bittinger doesn't seem to be phased by being thrown to his back as a competitor. End of the second period. It's going to be Bittinger's choice. Bittinger is going to choose. Blood time is what he's going to choose, I guess. Two minutes remains. Coverly looking for a second consecutive title. He's up 12 2. He's in the lead. He's commanding lead. Probably with a quick go behind. No score yet. No score yet. Bittinger's long. Hard to take to the mat. Wow. Bittinger tries a flailing roll. It's 14 to 2. Carberley in command. Bittinger's not giving up. Probably looking for the tilt. It's like no near fall. Who? No, I'm not. No. I guarantee you, I'm right there in the ball game. Oh, hey, I'm right there. It all falling. Yep, right there, baby. Everything's fine. Bittinger reaches through his leg. His legs, to grab I got five wins. Come on, Coverly takes a Good. second injury time. I got one. Now it looks like it maybe ribs or stomach. Seven. He's still early in command. One. This is the last match up. <laughs> I'm in the ball game. Right here. Drive. Hey, you ain't got it. Place winners at the 152. What's their balance? I got five. Probably that could be a rib injury from earlier in the year at the Ironman. Two wrestlers in each. 56 seconds remaining. Real gut check for Coverly here. The next injury timeout would end the match with a 14 to 2 commanding lead. 45 seconds left. He's probably walking. <coughs> What's this one? Probably looking for the pancake. Coverly's got 14 to 3 lead. 30 seconds. 
Coverly looking for the headlock. Coverly's gonna end up with a technical fall here. There it is, Eric Coverly with his second consecutive state title, Pumbleville Eastwood. With a 19-3 victory for John Bittinger of Beaver Local. Bittinger didn't give up. Technical fall came with seven seconds remaining.